what's up youtube uh it's been a while but well, we're here again with another video and in this video we're going to be showing you um what it means to fill out the legs all right so um like i said earlier we're talking about feathering in this video and i just want to explain to you and show you the difference between when you point the light directly at your subject and when you feather it away. So feathering essentially is when you take your light um, from pointing directly at your subject like this and then you turn it this way, right? Such that you are hitting your subjects with light from the edges of your soft box. And these those two things, as, I was, as you see in the video now, the first thing it does is that it's a bit softer because you lose all the hot spots right here in the center. And then the second thing is that it also takes um, quite a bit of light out of your backdrop, um, which helps to kind of create some kind of separation from your backdrop. So let's shoot and you'll see. Okay, so we're shooting with the light directly faced at her before and now we're going to turn it a bit so feathering is basically taking the light and turning it this way right so we're hitting out with the light that is bouncing off this side of the soft box and that's what's hitting her right now so two things happen one is that we throw, throw all of these hot spots into the v-flat and that bounces back to feel and then we also get like the softer part of the light on her and the third thing that happens is that we also get a darker background which in many cases would help you uh, separate your subject from the background a bit more so your subject is a bit brighter than the background which is good or can be a good thing uh, i'm going to increase my light by say a third of a stop because i once you feather you lose some of that power just a little bit so um let's see what we get now okay all right so benedicta can you help me pose the way you pose for the other one yeah the same way perfect and the third thing you get is you get a bit more wrap around the face right just a tiny bit more wrap around the face okay so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to feather it even further and i'm going to try and get rid of some of the shadows that were seen right behind her and how I'm going to do that is spreading a bit more and then I'm going to move the V-flat I'm going to move the V-flat here okay alright so keep in mind guys depending on how much fuel you want the closer you move your V-flat to your subject the more fuel you get the farther away you move your V-flat the less feel you get so um, that's just a new trick on how to control the amount of fuel lights with your v flats okay so let's get some more shots in and see what that looks like beautiful so as you can see in this shot that shadow is almost completely gone and i'm just gonna check perfect Okay, so Benenka, let's go. Give me some poses. Beautiful. So remember, I was shooting with just one light and a V flat. Yeah. So you can move both hands. Let's see. Yeah, beautiful. So that's the basic difference between when you point your light directly and when you feather it. So you get better quality when you feather. And you get more wrap around the face as well. Okay, so we're going to try and do some more creative things now with the shoot. Off the top of my head, I have this blue velvet fabric that I think would look nice against this rustic backdrop. So let's bring that in and we'll see how it goes. We're changing the setup a little bit to try and make the lighting more interesting. Uh, what, what I'm doing here is, as you can see, our model is facing this direction. 
and I put these lights on the other side of her, almost behind, because I want to ha highlight this part of her face, this part of her face here. Um, you'd see in a second when I take a picture how it will look. So we're going to, the plan is to use this second light here as a fill light. Remember, this is still our key light, but I am going to turn this off so we can see exactly what that is doing at first. All right, so we see exactly what that light is doing for us. And it's just giving us just the kind of lighting we want right there for her face. Now we need the fill light now. And the fill light is not going to be feathered. We're just going to point it directly at her to get into all of those shadowy areas. Now, the key to this technique is that you we don't want to overwhelm the fill light. We still want the fill light to we don't want to overwhelm the key light rather. We still want the key light to do what it's doing, but we want to raise the shadows a bit. Okay, so <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,